All right, y'all. So my tripod is temporarily out of commission still. So I'm doing this handheld again. As I was sitting here recovering from my first day of the Alpha Shred 30 day challenge, my legs feel like fucking linguine. I came across this video of one of the, the officers who was fired and arrested for killing George Floyd. I believe his name is Jay Alexander Kong, if I'm saying his name right. Uh, he, black dude. I, at first I thought he, well, he looks like he's mixed with something, but he's listed as African American. So he was spotted at a supermarket and a Karen approaches him and this is one of the few times where i say this is when a karen comes in handy i'm gonna go ahead and show you this shit real quick oh yeah that's me hey did you mm -hmm. so you're out of prison yes and you're comfortably shopping in cup foods as if you didn't do anything i'm not well, i wouldn't call it comfortably i would just say getting necessities or helping do you, i don't think you should have that right i don't even think you should be out on bail i can understand i mean how does it feel i'm sorry you feel that way no you're not sorry like, you're literally outside here comfortably as if you didn't kill that man? Did you think that people weren't going to recognize you? Honestly, did you? You don't have the right to be here. You, you you killed somebody in cold blood. You do not have the right to be here. I I'll get my stuff paid for. No, we don't want you to get your stuff. We want you to be locked up. You're honestly in Kaboos comfortably shopping. Out of prison. Like... Do you feel any remorse for what you did? Do you? This is the officer who was let out of jail today for shooting George Floyd. Or, I'm sorry, suffocating him. Now, I know some of you out there would be like, well, she had no right to confront him. You know, he was out minding his own business. Look, this man should not be allowed to go anywhere with without some kind of ridicule without some kind of scorn, without something. Like, he should be ashamed to show his face anywhere, outside, all of that shit. This dude didn't even show remorse, nothing. But I guess he has to go to trial, so he can't really say much. You know, I'm, I'm probably sure his attorney said, don't say anything, so he's probably going by that. But still, he should be embarrassed every time he goes outside. Every time he goes out, somebody should confront him with that shit until he snaps and then catch a case for real. Yes, I just burped on camera. And he catches a case for real for snapping on somebody. That's what should happen. Now, I kind of looked up. I looked him up a little bit. Okay, did my own extensive research, as some people say you should do. And he hasn't even been on the force for a year yet. He's kind of like a rookie. He's, he's a new cop. And I guess he was just following what his fellow officers were doing. But still, no excuse. He was one of the guys, he was one of the cops that held George Floyd down. So he's being charged with aiding and abetting. So depending on if, if they get him for manslaughter or second degree or one of them, yeah, I think second or third degree of manslaughter, he can do 40 years or 10 years. Hmm. You know what? I should probably be merciful and say, yeah, give him 10 years. You know, he uh, probably throw the book at him because he... I mean, if, if he shows some, like, sincere remorse, maybe let him off with, like, you know, 10 years or something like that. But, nah, he, he looked like he didn't give a fuck. And it's so funny that he was there buying Oreos. <laughs> he had a bag of Oreos in his hand. It fits. All right, he's so-called African-American black. Got a bag of Oreos. I guess that shows he's part of the Oreo crew. So, y'all, yeah, my personal opinion on this, I was like, good. I said, good, Karen, give it to him. Give it to him, Karen. Give it to him. Every time he goes out, somebody should jump in his shit because he deserves it. He helped murder that man. He helped murder him. All right? He wasn't the one with the knee on his neck, but he was holding his back down. So he did have his hands on him when George Floyd died. So, yes, get him every chance you get. But it's funny because, all right, somebody explained this to me. So all four officers got arrested. So the guy that actually had his knee on his neck is still in jail. And the, the Asian officer that was acting all tough, he's still in there. But the other two were let out, I guess, on a $750,000 bond. <sighs> How the fuck does that work? <laughs> so, I don't know. Y'all explain that shit to me. But, uh, yeah, what do you think about this video? Do you think that um, that the Karen was wrong for coming after him? Do you think he deserves what he got? He deserves what he gets? Comment freely below. Let me know what you think about that. And uh, if you like and did the content, hit that like and subscribe notification bell in the corner. I'm going to go finish recovering now, goddammit. This is Rashad G, signing out. See you in the next video.